What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Michael from Colossal Boxing Talk, and today I want to uh, discuss the, the keys to victory for Canelo Alvarez versus Arizlandi Lara. Yeah, it's a long while away, but hey, might as well start early with it. But here we go. So, for in the case of Arizlandi Lara, Arizlandi Lara is looking forward to to doing doing what he does usually. Moving, uh, using his lateral movement, moving around the ring, trying to let his opponent walk to him and leave himself open from being frustrated and then counter you with straight lefts. And, uh, he, he, he got, he has a right hook that he throws as well. But in the fight with Canelo, Canelo's is, he's not, he's not sleep footed by him, sleep footed by any means, excuse me. But I mean, Canelo, he, he can, he can move. He's, he, I mean, a lot of people somewhat call him a plotter. I don't necessarily call him a plotter because, like I say, I, I believe I believe Canelo has he has decent footwork, but Laura has good footwork. So Laura's plan, Laura, Laura wants to do he wants to he wants to make Canelo come to him while while Laura is like I say on the move, and he's gonna be. Uh, He's gonna be aiming to get Canelo with that constant straight left hand that he was hitting uh Alfredo and Gulo a lot with in that fight. Also to mention that fight, and Gulo did uh a hell of a job of cutting the ring off on Laura. And he showed you if you can cut the ring off on Laura and you get Laura where you wanna be, Laura can be hurt. His chin isn't the sturdiest of chins out there. So with that being said, the plan for Canelo is Canelo doesn't need to take the punishment that Angulo took necessarily, but Canelo needs to follow the game plan. He needs to look at the format that Angulo put out there in regards to cutting off the ring. And Canelo has quicker hands than Angulo, so Canelo will be able to hit, be able to, uh, maybe be able to land combinations in there on the inside with Laura up against the ropes. So Laura don't want, Laura doesn't want shouldn't want his back on the ropes at all. Laura, like I say, Laura needs to be able to move around the ring. And honestly, in this fight, the ring size is really gonna play uh, somewhat of a big difference in this because if this is if it's a if it's a big ring, then Laura has more room to move. But if Canelo uses his uh his drawing power to be like, you know what, I'm gonna get a shorter ring so I don't have to chase him around as much. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm not calling him a runner. I'm just saying he he, he like he 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 likes to get on the move a lot. That that's Laura's game. He he doesn't like to stand stationary, and when he does stand stationary, he leaves openings. No, he he's a I I, I, uh, I say Laura is a, he's a, he's an adequate defender, in my opinion. I, and when I say adequate, I, I mean me myself necessarily. I know the meaning of adequate, but some people be like, oh, so you trying to say he's he, he's not that good. He, he he like I say he's an okay defender, but but he he gets he gets touched a lot for my too much for my liking. So so what Laura like I say what Laura's gonna have to do keep his back off the ropes. Uh, keep keep Canelo keep turning Canelo away from his uh his power hand, and because in this fight uh when you have a southpaw against an orthodox fighter, one of the best punches for the orthodox fighter. Is the straight right hand, and in this fight, Laura wants to do with it, do anything possible to keep that right hand at bay. So he wants to pivot away from that right hand, and while he's pivoting away, he also wants Canel wants to catch Canelo lunging in or or or, or um, being over aggressive trying to touch him, and then he throw the straight left hand right down the pipe. Hey, that, that's that's Laura's keys punch. He he wants he wants to land that punch all night long. Now, in the case of um another thing with this, um because you know we all know Canelo, he has the uh, he has the, the times in a fight where he seems like he's uh he's tired or or his stamina is just not up to par in some sense. But like I said, I know I said this on on a couple on a few other videos, but I'm gonna say it again. I believe Canelo's. I believe the reason why he why he why he gets a little winded is because on every punch he throws, he throws him with so much force 
and when you and when you throwing hard punches and you're missing with those shots, that takes a lot of energy out of you. So, so Laura Laura's game plan honestly should be he come out land uh, like I say landing that straight left. He he can honestly use the uh, the right jab as well and it's like throw it upstairs, throw it downstairs. Just just make just just make sure you touching Canelo. And then, like I say, early on, use use your lateral movement and make make Canelo show you that he's adapted from the Floyd Mayweather fight, and and also make him show you that he knows how to deal with a with a non stationary target because that that's the big uh, question mark over uh, Canelo Alvarez's head is that he can't deal with a uh, with a he can't deal with movers so. So in this fight, Laura wants to go, and, and, and he wants to put a check mark by by those areas where, where people uh where people doubt Canelo. At. He wants to put a check mark by the he can't deal with a move. He wants to uh, put a check mark by he can't deal with a pure boxer. He also wants to put a uh, he wants to answer a question. He, me honestly, I believe in it. I believe in a Angulo fight. Uh, Canelo's chin. That, that the concern of that. I believe that 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 was answered in that fight. But a lot of people say, um, oh, Angulo wasn't hitting him that hard, and this, this, and that. Angulo is a hard, powerful puncher. So if that man is touching you, it, and, and he hit Canelo with some good shots, but Canelo never budged. He, he didn't even look like he hurt him to the slightest bit. And and to me, that's a sign of Canelo having a, having a hell of a chin. Because we saw what happened when Alfredo Angulo touched Arislandi Lara's chin. He went down. Multiple times. Uh, don't get me wrong. He got up. He got up like a true warrior. You're supposed to. He fought on, and he um he <clears throat> he he landed that shot in the tenth round, which uh the eleventh round, which halted the fight. But that's um I, like I said, I don't want to call it a lucky shot because in boxing, I don't I don't believe it's a such thing as lucky shots. But but I say that shot there was that was the closest thing. But he had, but he had been landing the hand all night long. But that shot there is like when he hit him, he uh when he broke his orbital bone, he that was the end of the fight. And Angulo, Angulo can take anymore. Okay, now for Canelo in this fight, what Canelo wants to do early on, Canelo is gonna have to work on his uh his uh his his ring generalship in this fight. He's gonna have to cut the ring off on Arizlandi Laura. He's gonna have to get Laura in the corner and land his combinations. Don't get me wrong, he 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 might I don't believe he's gonna be getting those six and seven punch combinations that he got against a few opponents that, that, that wasn't as active on their feet as Laura. But I can see Canelo getting three and four punch combinations in this fight against Arizona Laura. So like I say, Canelo has to work on cutting the ring off and also when Canelo also has to establish his jab early and often. Arizlandi Lara being the faster of the two, he's gonna hit his his goal is gonna be to counter Canelo's jab and come over the top with his straight left. So Canelo has to use that um uh, that that uh base that, that he's gonna have to use his his head movement that he's been using the last uh couple of fights. He used it against Trout, he used it somewhat against Mayweather and against Angulo he used it but it seemed like he had a point to prove in that Angulo fight to me, because a lot of the shots shots Angulo was throwing, he could evade it. But Canelo had to look like, you know what, the hell with I'm I'm a, I'm gonna show people I I can take a punch. Don't get me wrong, I, that that's not the smartest thing to do. But he he's a fighter, and you know fighters have have a certain level of bravado, and they, and when they feel they have something to prove, they're gonna prove it. But also. Also with Canelo, he needs to. Uh, a st- he's gonna have to go to Laura's body early. It, the best way to slow down a guy who likes to uh, use his uh, lateral movement is to go to his body, go to his body early and often. Now, when Canelo goes to the body, he's he's gonna get hit. He's gonna get hit, but he wants to limit the amount of times that he's getting hit in this fight. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be. Basically, Canelo, Canelo, 
you you want to follow what Angulo was doing, but you don't want to do exactly what Angulo was doing because doing exactly what Angulo was doing that 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 that'll get you fucked up basically because you because you getting hit with that many punches and eyes swole, mouth swole, all that stuff. Hey, Canelo's a fighter, but from what I see, he's more he's more intelligent. So so he's not gonna go in there and. And, and basically, like, let Laura just tee off on him. He's going to be smart about what he's doing. So Canelo needs to use that straight right and go to the body. Use the straight right. Use that left, the uh, the left hook that he throws to the body. And like I say, when he when he's on the inside, go to the body. Get get physical with, with Laura because Laura in a few fights he he's been uh he's known to get a little get thrown off a little bit. He get when he gets upset. Laura's the type he'll hit you with a few low blows and he he'll headbutt you too. He's that type when you get him frustrated. So Canelo wants to get in there and frustrate Laura by any means necessary. Also, another uh, the straight right hand up top as well because that that's the shot that um that's a shot uh a shot Canelo can use to counter Laura. Like if Laura throws a straight left and miss. He can come right over the top with the straight right, and and and, and he can land it. So, also with this, um, another thing, Canelo is gonna have to, um, he's gonna have to make Laura respect his power early, because I mean, hey, we all know Canelo has power, but in the case uh, with, with Laura, a guy who's he's very uh, technically sound, he's gonna have to catch him with a shot. And and and, and let, let's see how Laura reacts to his power, because like I say, Laura's been hit. He's been hit, and 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 a few times he seemed like a little shaken up and things of that sort. But the Angulo fight is the fight that showed him actually hurt, and he uh get, he got dropped and things of that sort. So also Canelo also he's gonna have to when he um. <clears throat> In the later rounds of this fight, Canelo Alvarez is gonna really have to, like, he, he's gonna have to go, like, a, go to the body with even more conviction. And, and the thing would also, also when I when I say go to the body, uh, that means if he can hit a shoulder, the chest, anywhere you can touch, anywhere you can touch Laura, touch him, hit him, because like you say, uh, throughout a fight, someone constantly hitting and beating on, uh, say, beating on your arms. If somebody comes to hitting your arms and hitting your arms with a lot of force, that's going to make it that much harder for you to lift your arms up and throw any and, and, and throw punches and throw punches with any type of force. So the game plan for Canelo is smother, smother Laura intelligently. Don't, 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 not stupidly. You got to be intelligent with it because, like I say, Laura has a high uh, boxing IQ being from, um, uh, Coming from Cuba and learning, um, using the the Cuban style of boxing. So, and also for Laura, his plan is to stay on the move and force force Canelo to show you he can deal with a with a mover. Okay, <sighs> this is gonna be the end of the video, uh, guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Leave your comments in the comment section. I will get back to you. And subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. You can also go to Facebook like us at Colossal Boxing Talk. And if you're on Twitter, you can go to Twitter and hit us at Colossal CBT. This is your boy Michael, and I'm out. One.